welcome to um, visuals tutorial. Um, hope you're enjoying that amazing intro. Um, yeah, okay. Before we do anything in Roblox Studio, I want to show you how to make sprite sheets, is, which is um, how you get your GIFs to play for visuals. So um, you go to the link that we provided in the Discord channel. And then you do choose file, and then you choose your GIF, then you press upload, and then you press convert to spreadsheet. Alright, now you press save. And it downloads whatever do not close this tab as you need all of these measurements so we'll go to create creations development items decals upload asset upload choose your sprite sheet and then name it whatever you want Okay, um, let me go over to the game settings first. Um, you want to go to um, security and enable HTTP request and then press save. Once you do that, you want to insert the visuals obviously. So what you want to do is right click workspace and then insert from file. I'll bring this up um, and then choose visuals and then open. This is what your base will look like. Honestly, what I like doing is um, I only use one screen. It's easier, honestly. And yeah, it's, it's, it's just way easier. You don't have to use all the screens, etc. Um, yeah, that's I mean that's what it's whatever. Um, well, let's, let's go to how to um, what's it called? Uh, insert the sprites. Yeah, yeah. I'm a professional at this, guys. Visuals panel. You can click, click click and go to config um you can delete these since uh they have been taken down so you have to use your own regardless um you want to open your toolbox go to um this icon over here and then you want to click to uh my decals uh, you want to go to your spreadsheet, copy a asset ID, and then in the numbers, you want to delete that and then paste your asset ID. Name it whatever you want. And now here is where you can use this tab. So um, we'll do the height first. Copy and paste the height. And then you go to image height, paste it, delete px, and then you do the same for width. Okay, and delete px. Okay, now you go here, and you have one, two, three, four, five, five columns. Um, you put five, right? And then how many rows do we have? We have three rows. Okay. So frame amount is how many of the pictures you have. I guess you can explain it like that. I don't know. So what I normally do is I multiply the columns by the rows. So 5 times 3, 15 minus 4. What do you get? You get 11. Uh, just in case it changed, you can, yep, 5 times 3, yep, and then minus 4, yep, yep, whatever. Okay. 
So then you put 11 here, that's your frame amount, which is how many pictures you have, yeah, whatever. Um, let me show you what it just looks like um, without configuring the sprite area. It will say this. You click on sprites, test. See how it's like super zoomed in? Yeah, let's change that. So we get the sprite area and you keep changing it until you like the way it looks. So I'm gonna put it one to one and we'll go in from there. So there you go, that's a better fit. But we see here, we need to fix that. One thing I forgot to explain is on the center part, the center part you always want in the middle, obviously center part for a reason. That's why our GIF was a little offset. So what we don't want to do is, since I always use one screen, I always just go to the screen, right? I go to properties and then I scroll down until I see origin position. I take that and copy it. And then I go to the center piece, the center part, sorry. And then I go back to properties. And then I go to the origin position and then hit control V. And then press enter. Now, now it will be in the center. So let's see how it changed. Ooh. And let's see how it changed. Turn on. There we go. See? Yeah. I know what I'm doing, guys. Come on now. Okay. I'll just go over what everything does. Or what you really need. Um, you should never touch setup values or video control. Um, the sprite area, that is how you zoom how you make your GIF look clean or zoom in and art out. Um, X is this way, Y is this way. You can always look here and, and turn it around. You can always look here to remind you which way X and Y goes. Um, if you scroll down, you go into your visuals panel, UI, main, config, that is how you get your configurations here. This is where you put your sprite sheets. And yeah. Okay, that is everything. I will be answering comments not on the native account, but my personal account. Um, also, open a ticket. That is the best way of direct contact to our staff team. We don't really answer questions in general or the forums, so be aware of that. Um, please be patient when you open a ticket. Um, our staff team consists of volunteers that get paid only yearly. So that was my phone. Um, but yeah, please be patient. Stay safe. Bye.